Students at Rogers High School are learning math, engineering, and design concepts by crafting their own longboards. Pre-engineering teacher Tim Young says the culminating project spurs students to learn the fundamentals of woodworking. They start out with a basic project. We work up through, through some rubrics, um, some benchmarks, and then my goal is by the second semester into the year, I have them building, building and designing their longboards. When he started the longboards project, Young says it was a lot of trial by error and reverse engineering, with students pitching out ideas about how to achieve the best board possible. I feel like there's a lot of power in collaboration, and uh, that's how we've, we've grown to this point, is we've talked about it, we've, we've had little little meetings together with three, four, five kids, and hey, what do we... Where do you think we want to take this? What kind of drop do we need to have on this longboard? Before building his own, Rogers Jr. Colin Gonzer says he'd never ridden a longboard. I never rode a skateboard, never longboard, none. After learning the process, he took a basic design and made it his own, creating a more flexible, comfortable ride marked by the design of his favorite carbonated beverage. My favorite part truly is cutting the boards because you can do it in any shape you want, any even style, anything. Young says the longboard project is all about getting students to pick up skills they can apply to a broad range of potential career paths. When we talk about the wood shop, I don't want people just to think of it as the wood shop. I want people to understand that these are, this is a stepping stone to other, other things. This starts the kids' technical hands-on abilities where uh, they might not be in cabinetry, but they might do some other kind of technical trade or skill. For students like Gonzer, the engineering, the physics, and the woodworking are also means to a pretty fun end. This is probably one of the funnest things I've ever done in wood shops. Young says his main goal is to take a project that piques students' interest and use it to give them a useful skill set. I want to give kids relevant skills, uh, technical skills, being able to use the design process to refine, to make better just so they come out of here with something that uh, could actually help them uh, kind of springboard towards what they want to do in the future.